I love embarrassing our, our guests, so we've got a brand new segment. Uh, it seems like a brand new segment every week at this point. Uh, on the spot, <laughs> it's called. We're going to give these guys uh, a bit of a, a tough question to answer, perhaps, and then we'll just dismiss their answers and have some fun with it. Oh, great. This week's on the spot is looking at MLS, of course. There's quite a few free agents out there around the world, and as you know, a lot of MLS teams will build around their DP spots. It used to be retired, old, aging players like you know, Danny Dicchio. Um, <laughs> And Ron Ricketts. And Ron Ricketts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys weren't DPs, sadly, were you? Uh, but, but if you were building an MLS team right now, um, who would be a reasonable target for, for a DP that you think would really change the fortunes of your team? Right. When you say reasonable, you're, you're taking Ronaldo and Messi? Messi and Ronaldo. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, okay. They, they might be targets, but... Yeah, I'm sure they are. I'm sure there's discussions. Too easy. Though. Absolutely. Too easy. Um, I'll say... Suarez is on the outs at Barcelona, looks like. Mm -hmm. 33, still got a lot to offer. That would be mine. I would go for Luis Suarez. A good fit. Still got that X factor. Still has that marketability as well. He'd score a lot of goals, wouldn't he? Yeah, I think he so. He would bang goals of plenty in this league. And his yeah. best mate is Leo Messi. So mm. send wow. over Suarez, the spy, for a, for a year or so. And then uh, you know, bring over Leo a, a year later. But yeah, obviously he'd score a lot of goals. He, he's an athletic player. Would fit in really well on any team, of course. And, and is striker the way to go, do you think, if you're going to pick a DP? You're not going for a goalkeeper. We've seen it done before. What? We would kill it. Hey. <laughs> well, respect. Put some no, respect I, 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 to I totally to market, agree. Right? If, I'm a, if I'm a GM manager, I am not going to get a goalkeeper as a designated player. Right. Not a chance. I think that's a poor move by anybody under these, the structure of what they have. Going for attacking players, people that could put the ball in that. It, it's the hardest job in the business, as you guys know. Danny, you struggled with that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, 12 in my whole career. Go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, so the goalkeeper is out. Who would you take? Uh, it's, it's a difficult one for me because I kind of weighed this up, what Toronto FC done with Jovinko and the Italian community in Toronto. And I thought about Lorenzo Insigne at Napoli would be a great fit for Toronto, someone like that. But I'd have to bring in the big fella, Edison Cavani. El I know he's, nice. he's getting a little bit older, 32, 33, I think he is now, but... Boy, he works his socks off. He's a good target man. He's going to be a great guy in the locker room as well. And I think he would just give that the, the lift to the team, to the city, to the league as well. And as you said, marketing, branding, it would be perfect for, for any MLS team to bring him in. Not bad choices, eh, Ricky? Mm -hmm. yeah, would you pick one out of those two? If I was going for one out of two, uh, I have to go with Luis, Su Luis Suarez. But both players, like I said, I think they still got a couple years left mm. Back in, back in Europe still. I think they've still got a um, good couple of years in them. But if you could get those two players to the league, fantastic, but I'll go Luis. Okay. Luis, as we, we have seen, though, you know, play, on, non goal scoring players, like Stevie Gerrard, you know, a Bastian Schweinsteiger come, you know, end of their careers, but it hasn't really worked out. I know Chicago mm. loves Schweinsteiger, but it really has to be a guy who can be an impact on the player, not just sell yeah. shirts nowadays. It's well, evolved I agree. Position. And you look at Toronto SC's model of bringing over Giovinco, who isn't really, really well known outside the Italian community, let's be fair, um, but in his prime still. Altador was it all going to be in his prime, came over at the right time, going to fill the net in this league, which he did. Bradley, another one, you know, still had lots impact to offer. Players. Impact players. Well, even even now with TFC, you look at Piatti, you look at Pozuelo, mm -hmm. they're not necessarily famous mm -hmm. players, right? But mm -hmm. they're having real impacts on, exactly. on the team you right want, now. You want a DP yeah. that is not coming in just to put bums on seats. You want him to have an impact on your team mm -hmm. and deliver. For me, Toronto SC is beyond that, isn't it? Aren't they? I mean, this club, the city of Toronto, is beyond having to bring in somebody just to put somebody yeah, buns in. I think so. I, I think mean, so. What, they, what they want is somebody that's going to deliver wins, goals, and potentially titles. And it shows in the last three or four DPs we've had, they're, they're right. delivering, you know. And it's a very, very risky business when you're trying to kind of balance the name or can we get someone in that has a relatively big name as well as delivering a very high-end product.